Gulli, you were born and brought up in Iran. What sort of experience did that give you um, as a Christian? I had quite an unusual upbringing, I think it's fair to say. Um, yes, I was born in the city of Esfahan in Iran, and I grew up very much um, between and betwixt a number of different worlds, I think. Um, obviously, um, Iran is a, primarily a Muslim country, um, and that was our wider context. And, uh, for example, at school, I was the only Christian uh, in an entirely Muslim environment. Um, but then at home, life was immersed in, in the church and in Christianity, and we had missionaries as well as indigenous and, and local Christians. And then there were the two languages, Persian at school and in wider society, but we did also use English. I grew up bilingually with both languages. And then, of course, two cultures, the kind of influence of, um, of Persian culture and um, British culture over the years as well. So an unusual and... Um, uh, varied upbringing, I guess. As Bishop of Loughborough, you have a big role towards the black, Asian and minority ethnic communities. How do you see that element of your new role uh, developing? Um, I, I recognise that there may be some disappointment around the fact that I'm not um, visibly black or ethnic and or, or that I don't sound um, more black or ethnic but I, um, I feel very strongly that diversity comes in all shapes and sizes and what I'm interested in is listening to people and building bridges between different communities um, and finding ways of exploring how we can become more integrated whilst also allowing for our um, distinctiveness and I, I hope very much to be able to to do that through getting to know the different um, uh, minority ethnic communities, getting alongside people, listening to people, um, encouraging people to be truly who they are and enrich our lives um, as well as having something perhaps to learn from us. So it's about communicating and getting to know one another. For me it's ultimately profoundly about building relationships. Are you looking forward to the challenges that being the first <laughs> Bishop of Loughborough bring? I'm looking forward to it immensely. I'm very excited. I am also somewhat daunted, um, but uh, it's, it's full of opportunities, full of potential, uh, particularly because um, it's a new post and so there are all kinds of opportunities to shape it and, uh, and experiment and I'm looking forward to coming and getting to know people right across the diocese, um, all kinds of different people and getting alongside people um, and finding my own feet and discovering what it means um, to be a bishop. Thinking about the time span between now and, and your consecration, what messages might you have for the people of the churches of, of Leicestershire? Yeah, it is some time between now and when I'll be consecrated at the end of November and, and begin work in the diocese. Um, uh, my message primarily will be um, to ask people to pray for me as I prepare to step into the role and come to the diocese um, and to assure the diocese um, and Bishop Martin of my prayers as, as we all prepare for this new beginning.